What's up guys? In this video, we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question about when you should or shouldn't make changes to a patient's ventilator settings depending on how much or how little ventilatory support they need at that particular time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. If the kingdom is overthrown, meet me at the cornerstone. A 43-year-old male patient was admitted to the emergency department with a suspected drug overdose. The patient is receiving oxygen via non-rebreather, but is unconscious and isn't making any respiratory efforts to breathe. The patient's body weight is 57 kilograms and his ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.28, PaCO2 of 64, bicarb of 22, and a PaO2 of 315. Which of the following would you recommend? A. Apply BiPAP with an IPAP of 20, an EPAP of 5, and an FiO2 of 30%. B. Intubate and apply SIMV with a tidal volume of 600, a rate of 6, and an FiO2 of 40%. C. Intubate and apply assist control ventilation with a tidal volume of 450, a rate of 12, and an FiO2 of 40%. Or D. Apply CPAP at 10 centimeters of water pressure with an FiO2 of 100%. Let's break it down and see if we can come up with the correct answer. First, we must interpret the ABG results. With a decreased pH, a normal bicarb, and an increased PaCO2, this tells us that the patient is in acute respiratory acidosis. This, along with the other information that we gathered in the question, lets us know that the patient is in need of full invasive ventilatory support. So that means we can rule out A and D automatically because BiPAP and CPAP are forms of non-invasive ventilation. Now we just need to figure out which remaining option is the best for this patient. SIMV mode at a rate of 6, which by the way is very low, is only going to provide partial ventilatory support, so that means we can rule that one out as well. The best option for this patient is assist control ventilation at a normal rate with an initial tidal volume of about 8 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. Now the question gives us the patient's body weight, which is 57 kilograms. So now we can just say 57 multiplied by 8, which gives us 456 milliliters. And that is close to the tidal volume that is given in the answer choice, which tells us that this tidal volume setting is appropriate. And just a quick note about the FiO2. The patient has a PaO2 of 315 tor, due to being on a non-rebreather. That number is way too high, which means that the patient has been getting too much oxygen. So now we know that we need to decrease that amount. In general, an FiO2 of 40% is a good starting point, and we can continue to monitor the patient and reassess at a later time. So by breaking down the question and going through all the data that was given, we can determine that the correct answer has to be C. Intubate and apply assist control ventilation with a tidal volume of 450 milliliters, a rate of 12 breaths per minute, and an FiO2 of 40%. So there you have it. That wraps up this video on making changes to a patient's ventilator settings and I hope that you found it helpful going through and breaking down the sample TMC practice questions. If so, then you are in luck because this only scratches the surface of what we have to offer for our students. As I always say, going through practice questions is by far one of the best methods to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. And that is why so many of our students have been having such success here lately. If you want to get access to our entire massive bank of practice questions, just like the one in this video, you can consider checking out our TMC test bank where we have over 800 of these bad boys 
that cover every single topic that you need to know for the TMC exam. So if you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description. And also, if you'd like to get our practice questions delivered straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, where the members get a brand new practice questions straight to their inbox every day, and these little tidbits of knowledge over time add up to massive results. It costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days, so if you're interested, I will drop a link to that as well down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topics you want us to cover next. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.